Hi, I need to know what the payoff amount is on my loan. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or just a good day wherever you are while you are watching this video. It is the day after Monday. That means that it is Transfer Tuesday. This is Transfer Tuesday for the third week in July. And if you could not tell from the opening video, it's kind of a very exciting one for me because we paid off our, our personal loan and we are now, other than our mortgage, we are officially debt free. So I still have some of my smaller transfers to do and coloring in my Duchess tracker and showing up some things, but let's just go ahead and just jump right into it. So I'm going to start off, again, we have three things that we have been working on um, in July. And so I had a few different goals for July that included paying an additional $2,100 to our debt, getting another $1,000 project fixed up, and then also my saving challenges. And one of the saving challenges that I'm doing, and I started this at the beginning of July, and I've kept it because it is so much fun, this is a challenge that you, the viewer, are in charge with. For every like you give my Transfer Tuesday video, so every like that this video gets is a dollar that I put into my challenge box next week. And so last week on that challenge, I had $56, or 50, I don't have $56, I had 56 likes, which is really, really nice. It's one of the highest ones that I've had. And so for that, I have $56, so 20, 40, 50, 55, and 56. So if we want to see me put more money in next week, particularly since this is a week where we paid off our debt, give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you want me to save more money and I will do so. And we will pop that into the jar right there. So that was $56. And before I forget, Marlene, um, I've seen some of your videos and I've gotten your slight, your slight hints from Fred Jr. that he wants to see Wilma. And so Wilma is still undressed, so we did put something green around her and that's a um, $20 bill. But Wilma says hello. She is just shaking in her leaves. She's so, so happy for you and the blessing that you got. Um, after the loss of your mother and how you are coming with your journey. And she is hoping that this means maybe her and Fred Jr. will get to meet up a little bit sooner rather than later. Hint, hint, as in get that Australia envelope made up. So if you don't know who Fred Jr. is, my friend Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307, she's also the one who makes this tracker for me. They're available in her Etsy shop. She has Fred Jr., which is her fake plant. I have Wilma, which is my fake plant, and they just have a U2 love romance that has been blossoming and growing for quite a few months now. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure how long it's been going on, so it's just our little silliness that we have between Marlene and myself. Like I said, if you're not familiar with her channel, go check it out. And our silliness might say it makes sense or it might not, but it makes sense to us. Okay, I am also doing the Hot Girl Summer Challenge. I might have to change it to the Hot Grandma Challenge. Not that I'm going to be a grandmother anytime soon, but we were out camping over the weekend and a couple of girls at the campsite down for us just completely just drunk as anything one of the nights they ended up crashing our campsite and everything and one of the things that the girl said to me was that she would be humbled to call me her grandmother and I have never heard my husband laugh the way that he laughed so loud so hard in my life so now the ongoing joke is he keeps calling me grandma so now I'm calling it the hot grandma summer even though I'm not a grandma yet no intentions of being a grandmother yet that's um, not really in the cards. 
$75. This is from Wander Print Creations. So again, uh, we're, you know, third week into the month, but you'd still be able to go in. I am doing the weekly, so I am adding $75. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and five going in there. And so there will be one more week of that to fund next week. So combined between those two, we have $131. I don't have a calculator nearby. So yeah, that's me just calculating off of the top of my head. For my roundup challenge, my roundup challenge goes towards my $1,000 project. So any digital purchases that I make, I round the price up to the nearest dollar, $5 or $10. This can be for any purchases or any um, bills or expenses. And this week that came to $59.52. So I'm not gonna be able to put the ending balance over here because I'm just not gonna try and add it up in my head. Um, so sitting pretty well between those two and then the big one and this is our debt snowball so this is an actual proper debt snowball we had not made our um our contractual obligation what ended up happening was it is tax time here in australia we got a bit back a bit more back on our taxes than even we were expecting um much more back than we were expecting on that and so we as soon as we got those deposits we called up the uh the bank and we got the final payoff and that final amount was eight thousand five hundred and twelve dollars and seventy one cents and so this is only about two hundred dollars below where i had us estimated because i had everything amortized so using that amortized projection schedule actually worked out pretty well. Here is the clip of the payment that has been um, that has been made and that account has it is now it is completely closed paperwork or whatever is in the mail. So we get to wash our hands of that one and call that good. And so that brings then our total in money movements that we had for this week. And it's, again, hard to see in this blue, but $8,703 and 23 cents. And that brings us to 100% paid because there is no ending balance on it. So starting next week in week four, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. We, our plan is to take what we have been paying to debt and then to start investing a portion of that. So we're going to have a minimum monthly uh, investing amount of $2,500. And our plan is to do that at the beginning of the month. But hey, if you are all for debt freedom, other than a mortgage, give this video a big thumbs up, give a woohoo, congratulations, way to go down in the comments. Um, you know, to share some of your enthusiasm, maybe it will catch on and be a bit contagious for me, or it might just be that it's, you know, it's, it's settled in. As always, I do have my debt tracker, which I will play some music, speed it up, kind of shorten the entire time that it does to do to a few seconds, but I am going to finish coloring this bad boy in because it's complete. That's that, Detris is complete. Approximately $33,339 of personal loan paid off in six months. Plus we did another $12,000 on our credit card that was paid off in the first one, two, three, four-ish months. So from the beginning of the year, we paid close to $45,000 worth of debt that is now wiped completely from the books of Mr. and Mrs. Twibbler. And I tell you what, if this is what we were doing with paying off our debt, then look out with our investing because for us, it is going to be a race to getting our first $100,000 
in our um, in our brokerage account. So again, this is separate from our superannuation. This is going to be our bridging account for if we want to become work optional in about 10-ish years that we would be able to. We've been looking at a couple of different scenarios. We think that it is that it is realistic um, potentially to be able to hit that $100,000, that first $100,000 in about two and a half years, if not a little bit earlier. We're also going to be focusing a little bit on our emergency fund, but that's not going to be the sole focus. Uh, and there's a very specific reason why we are going to be going in the order that we are going. Yes, it is a bit of a zag as compared to what all of the budgeting gurus and such have to say, but I'm not your average budgeter. I do not have your average job. Um, I do not have your average situation. So therefore I am not going to follow your average advice. I am going to do what works best for me, for my family, having looked at all of the different options and most importantly, having looked at the numbers. The one thing that one reason why we were able to do this in the amount of time that we did is because we actually calculated the numbers. We knew exactly where we would be every single month, every single step of the way for calculating when that payoff would happen. And so this has allowed us to optimize where we have made gains financially, and it has also helped to mitigate our losses. Now, some people might go, oh, well, you paid an additional $7.16 in interest. Big flipping deal. I pay $7.50 for a venti ice, you know, coffee frappuccino at Starbucks. $7.16 to me is no big deal. Now, if you want to obsess over that and be like, I'm not gonna lose that $7.16, by all means, you go ahead. But as I said, until you fund me or another F, you can leave my finances alone and we're just gonna do what works best for us. And hey, what we did, worked because we are now debt free and moving on to our financial freedom journey and all of that through investing. So that now, this chapter of this story is closed and now it is moving on to, I'm not even sure if it's a whole, if it's just a new chapter or if it is a whole new book. So series number three in this entire journey that we've been having. I haven't come up with a name or a title or anything else for it yet, but if you wanna to continue to follow along that journey, by all means, hit the subscribe button. If this was all that you wanted to see, hey, thanks for sticking around and thanks for encouraging me and supporting me up to this point. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate each and every single one of you that has done so, as always. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment box below. I will get to them and I will answer those for you. Otherwise, as always, choose kindness, show gratitude, always keep a positive mindset. I will see you in the next video.